It is time for our first smart topic, and we're talking weddings. You know, it's that time of the year when the weather warms up and brides everywhere are just blooming. You know, they look so pretty out there counting down mm. to their big wedding day. Well, did you know, Connie, that the average couple in the U.S. spends nearly $27,000 on their wedding? Mm. A big expense, especially if you're footing the bill yourself. Yeah, no doubt. And one of the biggest expenses, of course, could be the dress if you're really about the gown. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we are going to show you how you could save thousands of dollars on that important piece by shopping at your favorite discount store. ABC's Brianna Goladrega found a surprising new way to save. For every bride-to-be, one of these becomes her Bible. The divine challenge? Finding the perfect dress. Because from the very expensive to the very cheap, it's always about the dress. They really want it to be very special, and they want to know that they have found the perfect one. On average, women try on about 30 wedding dresses at several different stores before they finally say yes to the dress. It's enough to spin any budding bride's head. Well, now there's a new option for the more one-stop shopping kind of bride. Here comes the bride to Costco. That's right, the discount retailer most famous for bulk toilet paper and mixed nuts just got into the bridal game. Bob Handler not included. Hello. The draping on the side gives it a nice little poof. But Longtime bridal designer Kirstie Kelly is teaming up with Costco on a line of six wedding dresses. It's really about creating this concept for the bride so that she understands and knows that she's getting a high quality gown. It is a couture styled gown. The gowns have an amazing construction inside. They're fully corseted. They're out of beautiful fabrications. The only difference is the cost. But there's nothing about Costco that suggests bridal wear. Right. You think toilet paper, you I think cashews, right. almonds, anything else but clothing. Right. So did you even think twice about it? You know, I didn't. And I didn't because the Costco consumer is a very savvy consumer, and our bride is a very savvy bride. And the way the economy is going today, everybody is very careful with their dollars. The line is launching in select West Coast stores, where pop-up bridal salons are going up for four-day trunk shows. And you think about the conventional wedding shopping day when you right. walk in and they pamper you and yes. give you a glass of champagne. Do you think that the, the Costco customer will have that same experience or does this cheapen this at all? No, I don't think it cheapens it. From our perspective, you're walking into a salon. And how much does this retail for? This retails for $12.99. And how much would this cost at one of your other well, boutiques? Well, probably about $3,900. I'm shocked that a lot of these dresses are, you know, for a decent price. So who is the Costco Tour bride? She's a bride who has a beautiful event, but she's not spending all of her savings on it. I love this dress. I'm wanting to show my mom the dress, so I'm going to go get her on the phone and get her down here. We wanted to find out if women could really tell the difference between a bulk store bride and a boutique bride. So which one do you think is from Costco? Which one do you think is from the high-end bridal boutique? I would say that one. It's from where? A high-end boutique. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. It's a Costco dress. Oh. I'm going to go with that and that that's Costco. This is Costco? You're right. But you think it looks high end, right? Yeah. Costco high end? Yes, right. It's not bad. It's not my choice. <laughs> it's not my taste. Still, when their big day comes, some women will be wearing something borrowed, something blue, and something from their favorite big box store. All right. Well, we've got another surprising way to save on a wedding. How about instead of something blue, something green? Eco-friendly weddings are the new trend. Not only are they good for the environment, but they can also be great for your wallet. Green Living AZ is a fantastic local magazine that's dedicated to helping you find easy solutions to going green. And the editor-in-chief, Titian Donkersley, joins us now. Nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see you again. How are you? Nice to see you. So, we, you know, we were just chatting before and about weddings. Would you do it all over again the way you did it? it? completely differently. Yeah, a whole different deal. Different. Now, we, my husband and I eloped. We said, forget it, we're not doing all this. And we just got on a plane and went to Italy and spent Ooh, probably like half that. of what we would have spent for a wedding. Mm -hmm. But you've got some great ways to really kind of cut down on all of the expense mm -hmm. and help the environment as well. I do. And I, I was looking at your research here, and this one blew me away. There, the amount of paper used on invitations in the country every year could cover the entire island of Manhattan. True. Wow. All right, sure. let's start there then. Okay. 
Let's start our invitations. These are by Little Owl Letter Press, and these are 100% cotton. And actually, oh. they use an antique press, and they hand make the, everything. Beautiful. So these are really beautiful. You they see? look really high end, and I love that you put them on the wood as the placeholders because that, that gives one. it such an organic feel. And you feel. can transfer these to your table if you'd like to as well. And these are citrus based uh, inks. And is this an expensive way to do it, or 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 is it pretty cost effective and also environmental? Well, eco friendly wedding or invitations can run between a dollar fifty to about three fifty okay. generally, which I s suggest that kind of range. Okay, let's talk photography for a minute because that's okay. really important too. Yes. Okay. Well, photography, um, the thing I, want, I suggest to look for is somebody who focuses on an outdoor wedding, if mm -hmm. you're going to do an outdoor, also printing your photography um, on recycled paper. Okay. And um, sometimes you can do it online. I suggest to do your save the dates um, for evites, maybe, mm -hmm. and save the paper on that. Yeah. Um, and then for Plus, it seems like, you know, with the evites, they're becoming more personal, and, and you can do really beautiful they ones are. now where it doesn't just feel like an email anymore. The, exactly. Oh, back yeah. to, sorry, back to photography is that um, thumb drives are actually kind of a cool way to transfer transfer the photos to instead of the disc because right. the disc can wear down sure. and the thumb drive will you know maintain a little bit better. Okay, so. very good. Now the other thing that I heard is that each wedding is about 500 pounds of waste when mm -hmm. it's all over. Total. Like think of food and wedding and paper, throw, plates, paper and plates and everything. Whatever. It's a lot of waste so yeah. we're trying to keep it down. Okay, so show me some other things over here that we can do because okay. you set a beautiful table and oh, this kind you. of helps us with the design as thank well. Thank you. Design. This whole design was under $50 if you can believe it. Was it Really? Yes. And I, look how charming and quaint and beautiful this is. It feels it feels homely, and if, it's, we always say the more mix matched it is, kind yeah. of you know, the more homely feel. And this is a, these are recycled <gasps> jars, and these are in season flowers. You can get them at Trader Joe's if you're going to DIY. And you can do burlap here. It's about one to three dollars. You have these doilies that were found at the Goodwill, and you just sew them together. Yeah. The frames were Goodwill. Um, and then Garage you just cover these books. Cover with these books with paper. These are their own books. Isn't that And beautiful? mix and match table chairs. I love that. I love that. And actually, at the end of the night, if you wanted to, everybody could take a little bouquet exactly. home. Exactly. They? they could reuse those. That is a great idea. And you know what? It, sometimes it feels like when you go to a wedding and it's too formal. You're so busy trying to be prim and proper and make exactly. sure you don't embarrass anyone. It feels that, comfortable. You could do this outdoor, indoor. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I love that. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's head over this direction and tell me what you've got going on over We've here. We've got a flower arrangement here. Um, and this is all, again, under $50. Mm -hmm. These are all, again, jars you can find at the Goodwill or maybe some garage sales. Yeah. Again, uh, this is a kind of fresh fruit here. Oh, that's you can beautiful. Put that, and this was found at the Goodwill. And then you're, you've got your placeholders and so your, your place table holders. holders. Yeah. yeah. So this is all under $50 and in-season flowers, which I suggest. Yeah. Yes. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's talk food for a minute because that's what, you know, at the end of the night, it all comes down to you're starving and then you need some energy <laughs> so you can dance, right? <laughs> exactly. So what I suggest for brides is not to overorder. So many people feel like they have to fill the entire guest. And really yeah. it's depending on your day and which, you know, what you suggest. And of course, mm -hmm. with so many people with dietary restrictions now, it's important to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. So here we have some examples um, from Santa Barbara Catering. And this is a quiche. This is a vegetable quiche. And again, depending on the time of day that you would have this and then a, a is this a lavender sprig that she's put on here. Yeah, isn't, isn't that beautiful? beautiful? Can very you see easy. That? Fresh vegetables, and we suggest from Green Living using in-season food yeah. because it'll cut down on some costs, and maybe you can go to a f local farmers market to well, find Well, just everything. tying everything that has to do with the planet into it, it makes it so beautiful and yeah. calming. What do we have here? These are um, again, if you want to talk to your caterer about biodegradable um, utensils, right. this costs probably two dollars and seventy-five cents a person. Oh. Again, so again, the, going back to the waste, yes. is that when you throw this away, it will all back to the earth. All the back to the earth. All right, let's get mm -hmm. down to the sugar. This sugar. Is, this is the important stuff. <laughs> this is an interesting uh, cupcake company, Cruelty Free Cakes, that does all vegan. Again, it's to your dietary preference. Okay. But it's just delicious. I mean, there's <gasps> nothing you're giving up. These are dye free, natural. You are they beautiful? Natural dye instead of using chemicals. Yeah, really healthy and beautiful. All vegan. Okay, that's beautiful. Well, that's beautiful ideas. Great ideas. Yes, I love it. And boy, we are seriously headed into the season as well. So, Tishan, thanks so much Thank for being for here us. and sharing everything that you always have. Now, this is a great topic. It's in the newest edition of Green Living AZ. This is what the cover looks like if you want to find one. They are free at Whole Foods and also at AJ's. And we've also linked the information to our website. Just check it out at abc15.com. Find us under the Lifestyle tab at the top of the page. Steph?
Thanks, Connie. Some great money-saving tips also from our viewers on our Smart Family 15 Facebook page. We asked the question, what are some techniques that you use to save money when it comes to weddings? Well, Sherry says, location. We had my son's wedding in our backyard, made our own decor, and saved thousands. Good way, good thinking there. Beth says, we got our flowers from Safeway for under $150 for the entire wedding party, including my wedding bouquet. That's good there, too, because flowers can really cost you a lot. And Melissa says, I made all of my bridesmaids' dresses and had my friend make mine. We bought all the liquor for the bar ourselves, which saved the markup. So really smart thinking there, too. And Kathy says, shop at dollar stores for decorations like flowers and table decor. I love it. Some great comments and so frugal. You all make me so proud. So join in on the conversation. You can always find us at facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15. You know we're reading your comments, so log in and let's chat.